uh, all the headlines this morning, England 6, Iran 2. Uh, was this a handbrake off performance that England fans have been calling for, do you think? Um, I, I don't understand what handbrake on and handbrake off means. I understand what they're alluding to, but I, I, I don't associate it with football, if I'm being honest with you. He picked a team that, that I thought was the right and proper team. Um, he played one holding midfield player. I don't think he was ever not going to pair Rice and Bellingham together. And the team played extremely well going forward. It was interesting for me that at the end of the game, Gareth wasn't washed away with six goals. There was the question marks, as in all managers' mentality, further down the line of we were a little bit loose and we, we've shipped two, two goals. Yes. All well, being one of them was an horrific penalty decision in my mind. I was going to ask Stuart, did he think this was a change in approach from Gareth Southgate to be discontented with an outcome such as this? Because the result itself, 6-2, will be something compelling that people will look at and say, well, that's a great start. And I think him pulling pulling the bones out of things that aren't good enough might be something different that he'd done in previous tournaments. And I'll ask you that in a second, Stu. But also, you know, I do think that the, the, the Iran were poorer than we gave them credit for. We did the job that was in front of us. We've got far better players. We came off air yesterday, and people will say it's English arrogance, but everybody turned around and thought this game was going to be a 3 or 4 nil game. Mm. So it wasn't surprising to me. And Gareth uh, talks about that the, the Iranians are difficult to break down. Well, I, I didn't see a lot of that yesterday. I thought defensively they were all over the place. But we did our job, and we came away with the result. I, I, I imagine back in England, people are now building up the narrative that up, we're up and onward. I saw nothing in the world's American games that caused me to be concerned for England. You can cover with Simon on that, Stuart. Definitely the group situation, um, and, and I, I wouldn't put it in a in a sort of mentality of arrogance. I, I know England have got the ability, mm. and the important thing for me, they went into this game with, uh, on the back of maybe seven games without a victory. Now, for England, that that's not good, and a manager that was under the pump a little bit, and for the players to actually, from the m first moment onwards, and it was probably led by Bellingham, mm -hmm. had the real arrogance to want to get on the ball, want to play, and, and really set a tempo to the game. Now, I'm not so sure that people going into this game were expecting a three or four nilers. A lot of the people I talked to were saying Iran don't concede a lot. They play very defensively. They only lose by the odd goal. So to actually we break them down like we did was credit to us. Because we sat here with Martin Keown and Graham yeah. Souness yesterday and the overriding aspect was three. I said three nil. Yeah. They all yeah, said yeah. three or four nil. Yeah. So we all walked away with that kind of sentiment. Yeah. Right. Well, as I say, some of the individuals I spoke with in and around the game and whatever are thought suggesting it, more difficult. Sure. Thought it would mm. be a lot more difficult. And they've not been beaten six in 50, 60, 70 years. I Iran, mm. you know, so it takes some doing to score yeah, six goals in a, in a game.